Small HD just introduced a new series of 5 inch production monitors, Smart 5. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by BH and CVP. Hi guys, this is Nino from Cinity here at IBC 2022. I'm here at Small HD, and Small HD just introduced a new series of 5 inch monitors, and I'm here with Greg. Greg, how are you? Good, it's really great to be back after three long years and looks like IBC is as busy as ever. So It absolutely is, especially in this hall. I think you chose a little bit of a different location, which is always even busier than the production hall, I would say. But um, yeah, we're here to talk about the new Smart 5 monitor series that you announced. Now, to give a little bit of a backstory, I think a lot of people have been waiting for new 5-inch monitors from Small HD, which are not budget monitors, right? Um, so what can you tell me about the new series? Yeah, so um, we've had this really successful 7-inch um, series, the Smart 7, Indie 7, and Cine 7, and we built a bunch of cool software packages that can go on that, as well as we've been working on our PageOS software release. We have a brand new PageOS software release that's running on the Smart uh, monitors, and we've been working forever to replace, uh, to have a new version of a 5-inch that matches the kind of professional tools that have been present on the 7-inch for a few years now. I think our last 5-inch Pro monitor came out maybe four or five years ago. So what the Smart 5 is, is it's a it's three monitor family that kind of fill any space in the professional cinema onboard compact monitor uh, world. Um, there's three, three levels of brightness and features. We have the Ultra 5, which is a 3,000 nit, you know, rugged professional uh, onboard monitor with interchangeable battery plates, um, uh, function buttons, professional connectors, Ethernet ports. We have a Cine 5, which is really a, a fantastic monitor. It's it's a 5-inch, 2,000-nit monitor. We've added a, a joystick and a back button for uh, physical controls. It was one of the biggest requests for the 7-inch monitors as a way to control the monitor when it's damp out or it's cold and you're wearing gloves. And then we have a really accessible 5-inch 1,000-nit monitor, the Indy 5. So kind of every slot in the 5-inch world, you know, we, have a, we try to have something for everyone. Um, and then we also have internal wireless variants. So the new Teradek Bolt 6 series was released, and we have Ultra 5 uh, monitors with a built-in transmitter or a receiver. So you can have a monitor on your camera without adding an, an extra box or you know, a really lightweight compact director's monitor or a focus puller monitor like this um, to carry around you know, effortlessly because it's so light and small. So let's talk about connectivity. All of them have HDMI and SDI in and out, right? Yes. There's a HD, SDI, in and out, um, and you can actually ingest uh, UHD P30 over HDMI. There's also cross conversion, and then as well as the wireless input is an additional video input uh, if you had a built in receiver. One of the main differences between the three monitors, in addition to the, the brightness of the screen, is just the type of connectors that are on the monitor. So the Ultra 5 has a locking USB connector, 5 pin USB connector, and an Ethernet port. The Cine 5 has the locking 5-pin USB connector. You need to get an adapter to use Ethernet on it. And then the Indy 5 just has a kind of simple barrel connector for its power input and a USB adapter that you need to do kind of more, more rugged and professional locking connectors. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's a nice breakdown between the three levels in terms of connectivity. Another great thing is the lock button. So if you accidentally touch your monitor, you, know, you can trigger some tool or just obscure your view. We have this slide lock uh, on the side that just disables the touch screen. The joystick controls for, for monitors that have a joystick will still be able to be uh, utilized. I'm assuming all three of them are 1080p? All of the screens are yeah, 1920 by 1080p. Uh, for the 4K over uh, HDMI or over the Bolt 6, wireless connection, um, it's downscaled. But one of the nice things about it is that you can actually zoom in to one you know, pixel to pixel and get a really high uh, resolution image of a 4K quadrant of 4K. So it really punches into the 4K for the pixel peeping and the focus assist. Exactly, yeah, check your focus, make sure. Great, how does the entry level actually, I mean, you released a very, very inexpensive monitor, I think it was called Action 5. 
Um, and there's still, still a big gap, of course, to the Indy 5. How do they compare? The Indy 5, I mean, first of all, SDI, we have full page OS software. Um, the Action 5 just has like a much simplified version of our OS. It's called Action OS. In terms of software, it has limited tools, you know, limited configuration. Uh, Indy 5 has a, a better panel as well, 100% uh, Rec 709, a significant portion of DCI-P3, so it makes it a much, you know, just better image, better uh, contrast ratio, you know, rugged chassis, dual built-in Sony L-series style battery plate, so you can hot swap batteries without having to turn the monitor on. You mentioned the interchangeable uh, battery plates also on the Smart Series. Uh, that's V-mount and Gold mount? Yeah, so on, on the Cine 5 and on the Indy 5, there's a built-in dual uh, L-series style battery plate. Uh, on the Ultra 5, there's an interchangeable battery plate. We have a V mount, a, a mini V mount, and a mini gold mount. So it's really compact, um, really cool battery plates designed by Dominic at Wood and Camera um, in collaboration with, uh, with the team at Small HD. And they connect on the back through a, a pogo pin, there's no wires or anything. And they'll accommodate any size gold mount battery or V mount battery, but, but the great thing is they're small and they'll take the little mini gold mount, which are the coolest batteries out there right now. But of course, you can also power it through DTAB, I guess. Yeah, uh, all of the monitors have a wide input voltage. Um, the Ultra 5 and Cine 5 have a two-pin locking connector with um, 10 to 30 volts DC input, so you can do you know 12 volt or 24 volt system inputs. Page OS, actually, you just released. Just a side question. Page uh, OS is now final, I think, and available. Who can do the update for free? Page OS is compatible with monitors all the way back to the 502 and the 702 Bright. You know, really, that's those are kind of the first monitors that had this new architecture. A lot of really cool features, both for the large production monitors as well as the you know the small monitors. In particular, three main features on the small monitors. One is uh, our camera control software, which is kind of what makes our monitors smart, so you can tap to change your ISO, your frame rate. Uh, the second thing is contextual function buttons on the touch screen. So even if you don't have an Ultra 5, we have these soft buttons. You tap them and they'll pop in and you can configure them to do any massive list of functions that uh, are capable on the monitor. And then the third thing is uh, Ed Lackman, ASC, devised a really amazing exposure tool called EL Zone, which basically judges exposure, uh, or lets you check exposure by stops rather than IRE percentages. And uh, those are all going to be really useful tools on these small monitors. So some ACs that I know have two monitors, seven inch, five inch, are, let's say they have a license for the red. Um, can they move it between the monitors? We don't really have that capability built in, and we haven't had too many requests. Um, if somebody really needs to switch it, we could probably do it through our support. So they could reach out to us, and we'll help them out. Um, one thing to mention is we do have the wireless camera control um, that, that is actually part of the Bolt and Small HD integration. So if you have two Small HD smart monitors, one on the camera and one on the one remotely, and a Bolt system, um, whether it's a built-in Bolt 6 or a Bolt 4K, 4K LT, you can uh, send camera control commands from a remote monitor. Um, in that case, you, would, you wouldn't need to have two licenses. You would only need one on one of the two monitors. So. Cool. Let's talk about pricing and availability of the three monitors. The Indy 5 is the entry level. It's 1,300 euros and dollars. Which is unfortunately the same now. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Cine 5 is uh, 1,700, and the Ultra 5 is 2,200. And as far as availability, we're shipping Cine and Ultra in October. We're starting to build them right now, so maybe even some of them will leave in September. Uh, and then the wireless and the variants of Ultra 5 and the Indy 5 is supposed to be shipping in, in November. We're feeling strong about it. We've been really planning to try to avoid supply chain issues and, and get these ready to ship soon. So the goal is over the next you know, four to eight weeks, everything will be shipping. Great. Thank you, Greg. That was quite comprehensive. Very excited to try them out. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinity for a lot more from IBC 2022. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.